Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, it is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to our virtual celebration. Let me begin by remembering the families, friends and colleagues who have lost loved ones or suffered the severe effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Our thoughts are with you. Today is a celebration it is also a reminder of the privileges and responsibilities that come with an imperial education. It reminds us that we can each contribute to helping one another and benefiting society. It reminds us that we are truly a global community. Graduates, congratulations. We are joining together from all over the world to celebrate your accomplishments, to applaud your many talents, and to wish you well in all that awaits you. You have worked hard at your studies and you have excelled despite very world, different world circumstances than you expected. You have also excelled outside the lecture halls and laboratories as inventors, entrepreneurs, musicians, dancers, actors, singers, and athletes. Your volunteering to help others has been more important than ever. Let's recognize those whose support was essential during your time at Imperial. Your families and friends are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs and we celebrate with them. Our academics who will join you in your departmental celebration are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They and many others have shared their knowledge they have challenged and inspired you. They deserve our thanks. Graduates, the world needs people with your intelligence, your passion, your commitment to using your knowledge to find new ways forward through the challenges we face. You are ready for what's ahead. You may have had the chance, as I did with my son David, 
to ride the longest roller coaster in Europe called the Ultimate. It's a mile and a half ride in Yorkshire that lasts for about seven minutes. That's a long ride for a roller coaster. It looks benign, a graceful wooden coaster set amid a beautiful landscape of wooded countryside. The ride begins quite innocently with a lift hill, long smooth hills and bunny hops. Then there is a second lift hill and a turn to the left toward the woods. Soon warning signs appear, hang on. I was already gripping the safety bar for dear life. Chaos follows. Rapid turns jolt you left or right. You want to close your eyes, but you must watch to see which direction you will be thrown. You brace yourself for what's to come. This is what 2020 has been like. A benign beginning followed by the many twists and turns created by the pandemic. The speed with which it grew in March was shocking. With little warning, you needed to pack up, change plans, and finish your studies remotely. And you did. You adapted. You persevered. You were resilient. You passed a test that you didn't foresee. You demonstrated qualities that will serve you well in your professional and personal lives. The world changed for us all. We work and communicate differently. We have tempered our plans. We know that we must do more with less. Our staff have made transformative changes to the ways we collaborate and teach. Our multi-mode provision combines the best of remote learning with valuable in-person time in laboratories, studios, and practical training. The pandemic has accelerated these changes causing us to think hard about two important questions. How do we best use our valuable time together in person? And what can we accomplish by connecting from a distance? These questions have been acute during the crisis and will persist long into the future. We will need to continue to weigh options that can reduce travel, save time, and maximize our connections. As our time together in person is limited, we cherish it even more. I hope that among the many things you will remember about Imperial, you will look back on the valuable experiences you had working with, listening to, learning from, and spending time with others. Whether it was students in your course, or friends from societies, or residences, or staff you came to know. Sharing ideas and building lasting relationships are valuable lifelong assets. The Imperial College community will always be a part of who you are. As you think back to the people you met, the things you learned, and the experiences you had, Remember what all this meant to you as you departed last spring. Here are three thoughts to leave you with. First, use your imperial education, the knowledge, the experiences, and the friendships you made here to navigate whatever the future brings. Second, stay in touch. You will be inspired by the ways our staff, students, and alumni are working to mitigate the impacts of COVID-19, pollution, the cyber revolution, poverty, chronic disease, and more. And thirdly, maintain connections with your friends, professors, lecturers, readers, tutors, wardens, technicians, and mentors. Their collective experience is a resource for making decisions and opening doors. We may be in for another loop or two on the ultimate. You are ready to deal with the jolts. You will continue to navigate the challenges ahead with the tenacity and courage that is a hallmark of Imperial alumni. Imperial is an institution focused on scientific experimentation to discover, test, learn and adapt. 
And I'm greatly impressed that all of our students have tackled the global experiment created by the pandemic with resilience, resolve, and compassion. As we celebrate your achievements, it is also an opportunity to say thank you to those whose help has been instrumental in your success. You can share your messages of thanks to your friends and colleagues who have supported you by using the live chat box on the online graduation webpage. Together, we would like to thank your teachers, tutors and support staff for their work and ingenuity in adapting your education to the present and for their guidance and inspiration during your studies. Thank you to your families and friends that have been your backup teams throughout your time here. And thank you, our students, for the commitment and hard work you have shown over your time at Imperial in a particularly trying final year. You have contributed to Imperial's vibrant community of thinkers and doers and added to all aspects of Imperial life. Through this most unprecedented period, you have worked incredibly hard to achieve your degree in adverse circumstances. You should be very proud of your achievements. Well done. I'm Abhijay, the president of Imperial College Union, and it's a privilege to be able to address you all today. Although the circumstances aren't ideal, I hope you enjoy today's celebration and that we get a chance to see you in person again once the external circumstances have improved. First and foremost, we're here today to celebrate the academic achievements of this community. All of you should be extremely proud to have reached this point. Imperial graduates are among the brightest and best, if I do say so myself. Friends and family watching might also want to pat themselves on the back. It's so often their support that keeps us going through challenging degrees. We're also here to celebrate your achievements outside the classroom. Studying at Imperial grants us access to some great opportunities, which thousands take advantage of each year. On one side, there are the cutting edge research opportunities and academic societies which support the education of other students, as well as those in the wider community. On the other, there are student societies spanning sport, art, music, drama, culture, faith, recreation, and discussion, run by and for students, and to which so many of you have dedicated yourselves over your time at the college. As I'm sure you will attest, these activities are extremely important. They keep us rounded and give us the real world skills that complement the knowledge we attain through study. Now is a good time to reflect on all the aspects of university life that you've experienced and the vitality you've brought to our community in your time at Imperial. It's worth taking a moment to celebrate the diversity of this community. Imperial is a tremendously diverse place, not only in terms of age, culture and creed, but much more importantly in terms of thought. While everyone who makes it here is extremely intelligent, their individual ideas can vary significantly. This is instructive, both because it teaches us that the colour of your skin or your place of birth don't necessarily correlate with similarities in thinking, and also because of the productive tension that this diversity of thought engenders to the benefit of science and society as a whole in the long run. Speaking of science, and at a risk of delving into cliché, though we now stand on the shoulders of giants, in the future it will be our shoulders on which others stand. This is worth bearing in mind. What sort of foundations do we want to lay for those who follow us? How can we address important issues and ensure the work we do stands to benefit the world as a whole going forward? It really is in our hands. Thank you for your contributions to our community, and I wish you the very best of luck in your future endeavours. I would like to offer my warm congratulations to you, the students of the Faculty of Engineering, for the hard work and determination you have shown in reaching this significant moment. The past year has put many challenges in your way, on top of the not inconsiderable matters of coursework, examinations, dissertations, theses and vivas. The commitment and integrity you have demonstrated through these taxing months, on top of all your hard work, makes your achievements all the more commendable. I'm sure you would join me in acknowledging the support of my colleagues within the faculty, the teachers and supervisors who have worked with you, and the administrative and technical staff who have supported you. This has been a team effort, and I am so proud of the way everyone has come together to tackle our collective challenges head on. Engineers work together to solve problems and have a can-do attitude that has helped carry us through the past few months. Something for us all to remember as we move forward. But this is your moment, a moment which helps us celebrate you and mark the next steps you will take, you, the engineers of tomorrow. The world needs your skills, drive and enthusiasm. 
Before you take your first steps on this journey, pause a second to recognise what you have achieved and know that you walk into the world as part of the Faculty of Engineering community. Good afternoon, graduates of the Triple E department. I'm Eric Yateman, Head of Department. You may remember when I welcomed you to the department at the beginning of your degree. That day, I probably congratulated you on gaining a place on your course. Indeed, our programs are very competitive and you would have achieved a lot already then to have gotten that far. Now, it's my pleasure to congratulate you again. So well done for all your hard work, your skill, creativity and perseverance. It's been our pleasure and privilege to teach you and work with you. Maybe it seems like a very long time since you began this journey, or maybe it rushed past. Maybe both. In any case, you made it, and you join a distinguished group of the Imperial Tripoli alumni who preceded you. Of course, I'm sorry we can't meet in person this time, but there will be an opportunity in future for us to do so, and to celebrate your achievements once again. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoy this online graduation event, and I want to wish you every success in your future career. I will now read the names of this year's graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Bachelor of Engineering, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Tayab Aziz Bandari. Jihao Chua. Christian Lloyd Deverell. Winner of the Usmani Prize in Microelectronics, Min Sung Kim. Lim Fai Yu Zenus. Winner of the Nicholas Battersby Prize, Justin Liu. Chang Liu. Timothy Mayo. Sultana Mohammed Saleh, Sanjus Nambiar, Usman Idris Hafiz Qureshi, winner of the Class of 1974 prize and the Governor's Prize in Electronic and Information Engineering, Marco Selvatici, Javier Torres Riba Echebaria, Arman Rick Triong, Adam Urban, Yu Sophia Wang, Jiu Zhang, Rui Zhu, Alvin Haowen Yang, Zesen Yao, Kai Wen Yoke, winner of the Governor's Prize in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Ayub Yusuf, Zhenming Zhang, Yu Zhang. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Engineering, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Gazim Azari Gazim Ahmed. Babalola Ajuse. Zed Al Akkad. Loic Felix Alex Brown. Lydia Andriopoulou. Harrison Ashley Ankers, winner of the Terry Wadcote Memorial Prize, Yasmin Baba, Konstantinos Barbas, Ethan Benarok, Rahul Berry, Thomas Jersey Bialas, Clementine Biet, Benjamin Mark. Biggs, Pedro Monteiro, Gustavo Brito Rodriguez, Alorica Chakravorty, Joshua Rizal G. Renchan, Yuxuan Chen, Patrick John Yi Hian Chia, Husheng Dang. Winner of the Lee Memorial Prize, Sofia de Mosca. Winner of the Institution of Engineering and Technology Prize, Emily Florence de Olm. Mobulurin Chibudom Idon. Stiliana Elia. Jonas Freeling. Zhendong Fu. 
Anuja Atul Gaitonde, Alberto Garcia Matachana, Joseph Oliver Gardner, Wesley John Gaunt, Diane Graham, winner of the Dennis Gabor Prize, Georgia Irene Aliet Grand, Dimitrios Filipos Grivas, winner of the Dennis Gabor Prize, Rebecca Halam, Simon Hanasab, Fang Fang Hu, Jingming Hu, Jinming Hu, Guilin Huang, Zengri Huang, winner of the Governor's Prize in Electronic and Information Engineering, Georgios Ionadis, Harvin Iriawan, Sanghoon Chan, Alexander Ralph Jarish, Joshua Liam Jennings, George Kidd, Subakrish Krishnamra, Kevin Lam, Yao Quen Lam, Lucas Per Ingve Larson, Fei Ying Gladys Lau, Jay Yuan Li, Athanasios Liaskas, Shi Wei Liu, Lo Yi Hong. Winner of the Siemens Memorial Medal and Book Prize, Ying Hao Lua. Chen Yu Luo. Winner of the Henry IV II Scholar Award in Electrical Engineering and the Sir Bruce White Prize in Electrical Engineering, Adil Malik. Ristub Manjunatha. Rian Shaheen Mansour. Suleiman Mashini, Quentin McGaw, Prithvi Menon, winner of the Greater X Prize, Dimitris Moniatis, Nurina Binti Muhammad Naim, Enda Michael Pierce Mulder, Omar Mutawa, Isan Eng. Winner of the Head of Department's Prize for Best Project, Leszek Novacic. Efe Ofluoglu. Winner of the Electrical and Electronic Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Mehedi Paribartan. Pranav Bardwaj Paul. Urjun Perumala. Edward David Aubrey Pickup. Andrei Pietriano, Carlo Adrian Rectra Pisigan, James Diarmud Pollard, Jikai Pong, Tom Poskett, Alex Prescott, Javier Reich Condominus, Basilios Rallis, Georgina Ramage, Raid Lukman Reza, Mateo Sarianovic, Edward John Crosby Skyf, Konstantin Florian Schultz, Alessandro Serena, Archit Sharma, Shenzhen Yi. Ivakshi Meteshkumar Shath Yifeng Shi Zi Wen Si Oliver Benjamin Spillett Padmanaba Srivanasan Edward Philip Stables Samuel Stratton Kaiwe Sun Mayak Surana, Chankyu Desmond Sai, 
Robert Tan. Say Hey Tang. Rohan Tangri. Katerina Tarasova. Chi Kong Te. Giuseppe Terranova. Sri Thiruma Liukumar. Jamie Thompson. Peter Udvardi. Cosentina Kingsley Umegbo. Dmitro Ushchapovsky. Willem van der Schoot. Bonne van Oort. Daniel Christoph Varga. Vaikun Venkat. Francisco Vicente Correa. Suparnan Via Ragahavan. Stevan Vukmirovic. Jack Waller. Winner of the Head of Departments Prize for Excellent All Round Performance, Chak Sam Wan. Winner of the Eric Laithwaite Prize, Leon Wiederkehr. Liang Jun Wong. Jonathan Manchung Wong. Neil Reese Woodward. Weinan Wu. Zi Chong Jia. James Zhu. Hunirud Yaduv. Winner of the Governor's Prize in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Enkai Joel Yeo. Kevin Kaiwen Yu. Rimon Yu. Che Chan. Ao Dream John. Ruyu Zhai. Yahua Jayun. Sergei Jelabovsky. Winner of the Willis Jackson Medal and Prize, Shin Zhou. Winner of the Iber Tupper Prize, Ning Huai Dru. Iwen Zhou. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Stefan Bajai. Shaban Barakat. Ai Bo. Maxim Bourdon. Alamin Ugaje. Benyang Kao. Curtis Lokkan Chan. Hoi Chan Chao. Kongron Chen, Hongming Chen, Siu Chen, Wei Chen, Jimo Chen, Ran Cheng, John Shuro, Charles Antoine Chevrier, Bing Ding, Mikhail Drossos, Yunhao Duan, Banu Dugal, Michael Eichelbeck, Feng Zhuaming, Justin Fu, winner of the MSC Control Systems Outstanding Achievement Prize, James Paul Foster, William Fuller, Jan Li Gao, Aditya Garga, Yunyi Guang, Juoda Han, He Ming Wai, Donat Hegyeshi, Jianan Hu, Amir Salal Yahunbin, Ruokshuan Jiang, Zhonghe Jiang, Zhuo Jun Jiang, Jinli Jin. Winner of the Hertha Ayrton Centenary Prize. Lei Kwan. Chang Chun Li. Dong Sheng Li. 
Jingo. Jinjing Li. Haitong Li. Jiaofan Li. Zhu Li. Jiaqing Lin. Xuer Lin. Xiao Yu Liu. Jia Nu. Ending Luo. Hao Yuan Luo. Hun Qin Ma. Niang Ma. Jason Mansuranis. John Yu Ma. Ya Jie Ma. Yupe Ma. Winner of the Ivor Tupper Prize, Nima Mohamedi Meshki. Winner of the Outstanding Achievement in the Future Power Networks, MSC, Lucas Narbondo. Ziching Nie. Stephen Oguniru. Hayu Pan. Ihan Pan. Ling Shi Pang. Andrea Micaela Pereira Viegas de Carvalho. Manuel Corte. Caterina Rentumi. Nicholas Riemann. Mohamed Jawid Salimi. Winner of the Joan Wong and Joe Main Scholarship for Women, Stacy Sawurawatri. Vignesh Sentokamaran. Alina Irina Serban. Syed Zubair Shah. Muhammad Izat Lukman Shadan. Awala Lade Oluwashei Suaber. Yanke Sun. Juan Andres Talamas Carvayal. Jackie Tangbin Chuang. Umza Tanvir Krit Thampanichwong Tong Haotian Petros Tsampiras Yingmin Chui Amam Zverma Long Wan Shun Wan Chauhan Wang Dongyu Wang Hao Yu Wang, Ku Hao Wang, Ya Han Wang, Ming Wei Wei, Bo Wen, Han Wu, Ji Chu Wu, Hong Jian Zhao, Lu Xu, Wang Kun Zhu. Ji Chang Zhu, Shi Hang Yang, Fan Yang. Winner of the Outstanding Achievement in the Communications and Signal Processing MSC Prize, Xiao Chang Yang, Zhe Yu Yang. Winner of the Analog and Digital Integrated Circuit Design MSC Outstanding Achievement Prize, Zhe Wen Yu. Antalis Zafiropoulos Shang Jiahui Zhang Kai Chiang Lingyun Zhang Shunya Zhang Xiaoyu Zhang Yunping Zhang Zheng Zhang Cheng Hao Zhao Yang Zhao Yuxiao Zhu Xiaowei Zhuang Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Trisha Edje Husni Ali Fawaz Faiz Al Subai. Winner of the Errol Cadwalader Davis Prize for Outstanding PhD Thesis, Juan Manuel Antriega Sayens. 
Mudasar Bacha Songryo Baek Konstantinos Boikos David Berth Kirka Alif Tubce Seran Shihan Chen Shin Deng Luigi Di Franco Nicolaus Dionelis Zihang Dong Joshua Elsden Michael Evans Junjie Huang Mi Wan Kang Timo Lautislager Michael Lawson John Hugh Lestein Konghui Li Peng Li Leo Charles Lightburn Tian Rei Liu John McLean Winner of the Errol Cadwallader Davies Prize for Outstanding PhD Thesis Mohammed Mohadamdi Hamiri Alex Moreira Takashi Nakamura Temitayo Orderin Wale Anastasios Ulis Rusis Christophoros Panteli Enrico Piovano Juan Chin Nadesh Ramanatha Tiago Mendonca John Mark Rodriguez Bernus Yu San Kiarash Shaludegi Mang Shao Piyush Sharma Sergei Siaber Mintiades Siavas Samuel Shomuya Srijit Srikumar Alexander Stott Arian Tavakoli Idus Pui Nazir Yang Wang Marlon Vijaya Singa James Wiley Hilda Shu Costas Yalorides Chanchin Yuan Yung Chao Zhang. I'm thrilled to be joining you today to celebrate your graduation and the onward journey of this wonderful academic institution. This is actually my first Imperial graduation as I joined as Chair of Council in January this year. I've always been impressed, however, by Imperial. I've long admired your way of working across disciplines, of embracing opportunities within academia, but also with industry. The chance to work with so many outstanding thinkers and innovators is what brought me here. And what a year to start. This isn't the 2020 any of us planned, and perhaps nobody knows this more than you. But here we are, learning, enduring, changing, succeeding, together. I take great inspiration and comfort from what you, our graduating students, have achieved in getting here. And I'm so excited to hear about what you'll do next. I imagine you'll be feeling apprehension at your next steps. We're living in a different world, it's true. The future is a challenging and changing one, but it's one full of opportunities both well-established ones ready for you to step into, but also completely new ones for you to venture out to. In getting to this point, you've proven yourselves robust, talented, motivated individuals who are poised to grasp these opportunities. Now, throughout my career, I've become aware of a defining feature of success. I believe it comes to those who have a burning desire to make things happen, the determination to achieve, 
and the interpersonal skills to bring people together. And for, from what I've seen with my own eyes at Imperial and the achievements I've heard today, I know you have those qualities and that you will go on to make great and positive changes in the world. But please know this is not goodbye. Far from it. Instead, it's welcome. Welcome to the next chapter of your lives, but also welcome to the worldwide network of Imperial alumni of whom you are now a vital part. We'll be here for you as you go on to exciting careers, following you, supporting you, celebrating you every step of the way. So please do stay in touch. You're now members of the Imperial family and we can't wait to see what you do.